exclusive live radar, your three-minute advantage, so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 Live Doppler. So far this evening, the storms back off to our west have been relatively tame. A broken line of showers, heavier downpours, a few embedded thunderstorms, but right now nothing severe in this line, and it's weakening quite a bit. Over the past hour, we've seen a substantial decrease in the number of lightning strikes in that line of storms in Mississippi. A sure sign that the instability is dropping off just enough for that line to continue to weaken. That being said, we're still going to track some heavy downpours and a low end threat for an isolated strong storm or two still, especially across portions of northwest Alabama over the coming hours right now on the WVTM 13 live Doppler. We're seeing more of those scattered heavier downpours developing in East Mississippi and they're moving up to the north and east Lamar, Marion, Winston counties all getting wet here likely. Pretty good over the next couple of hours. Here's our high resolution forecast model showing the heavier rain beginning to move into northwest Alabama uh, around 10 11 midnight tonight. Notice as this line progresses down to the uh, south and east, it's going to start to lose more and more of its punch. And so by the time it gets to Birmingham 2 3 4 a.m., really not a lot in the way of thunderstorm activity along the frontal boundary, but back behind the front still a lot of moderately heavy rainfall will continue. And that's the reason why we're anticipating rainfall totals one to two inches. So even though most spots likely won't see any strong severe thunderstorms overnight tonight. We'll all see the rain and that will linger into our Monday, impacting that Monday morning commute, likely impacting the commute home from work. Monday with more scattered light to moderate rain showers. It turns cooler Monday afternoon and then we track another disturbance that's going to quickly slide our way Monday night and heading into Tuesday. Lunchtime Tuesday, you can see more of that rain beginning to move in from the south and west. Now with regards to tonight, over the next few hours, really until about 3 or 4 a.m., there still is that very low end threat for an isolated strong storm or two. Damaging winds, perhaps an isolated tornado across far northwest Alabama. Again, that threat pretty minimal it looks like right now. The greatest threat will be uh, some scattered areas of minor flooding possible in far northwest Alabama. We are not concerned about any large hail. There is a flood watch in effect for Lamar, Marion and Winston counties. These areas saw several inches of rain a couple of days ago and with the uh, increased rain chances, heavier rain moving in tonight, there could be again some minor flooding across far northwestern portions of the state. For the rest of us, rainfall totals generally between three quarters of an inch and an inch and a half as we go through our Monday. So the rain out there through Monday morning into Monday afternoon impacting uh, the drive time. Same thing on Tuesday, more wet weather coming our way. No severe weather though in the forecast for Monday afternoon or on Tuesday. We dry out Wednesday, Thursday, slight chance for a shower Friday. Next weekend, it's looking okay. You're watching WVTM 13 News.